I just hit the year anniversary of me living in France. And <laughs> I met this guy at a cafe the other day and he was, I was telling him how I, he was asking me, how long do you think you're gonna be in Paris for? And I'm like, oh, forever. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, I wanna buy a home here. And he was like, really? You know, it's very interesting in life, for me especially, I feel like I've spent a lot of my life having to defend my feelings to people. And it shouldn't be like that for anything, for people or places. Because I've always known how I feel about France. And I'm smiling wide as I'm looking over this footage of me going to Parc Monceau and picnicking. And this guy was saying at the cafe, well, you're not in like your long distance relationship anymore. Like, this is the real thing. You're actually seeing what it's like. And I'm about to cry some happy tears, but if I'm being honest, I like it even better now because all of these things that once were short things, momentary things that I could only enjoy once or twice a year are now my everyday in combination with other little things that made me really happy like High School Musical 2 and making dinner and then lying down on the lawn and then making really fun lunches and cooking and like now I have a life where yeah, it's a little bit harder to do some of those things that I used to do before, like working out and cooking a lot because I'm in a smaller apartment, but I can't trade what I have now, that I get to do all of those things, cooking, baking, whatever, and I come home, but Paris is outside for me and Europe is in my backyard for me. And there are a lot of things about living in France that people don't tell you <laughs> until you're here for sure. You know, I didn't realize starting now until about April, it's cloudy. We'll have like days where we won't see the sun for two weeks and that's why summer's so cherished in Paris. We're all sitting outside enjoying the terrasse. You know, if you order something on Amazon, you better best believe you gotta have your phone on because if you don't answer the door, if you don't answer the phone, when the guy's at the door for the code, you will not get that package. The package will go away. You'll have to reorder it, do a refund. It's a whole mess. You know, I still don't have a car be tall. I've been here for a year. But there are nights like this one when I... This was the eve of before my anniversary exactly here with Paris. And then this was the day of. When I walk home and Paris isn't really... A pl at least for me and the people that I know that live here. It doesn't really get old living here. You're constantly surrounded by beauty and there's something very enchanting and dare I say magnetic when you're walking around and you suddenly see Le Mohmart or you see the Sacre Coeur or you see Le Rouvre, you see the Tour Eiffel, you see something and there's still so much of the city that I actually still haven't seen. I've made a list of some things I want to do this fall that I still haven't seen. Whenever I look at Iron Gate fences and I see the shadow in the background, you know, it definitely takes more effort. That's what long distance relationships are, right? They take more effort and then when you're actually in them, you're like, huh, what do I do now? That 50 euro bill, that's kind of like if you've ever seen the bull type. That was my version of, um, oh my God, what's her name? Oh, I'm blinking on the character's name right now. Sutton, of Sutton's $100 bill, where she kept that $100 bill in case something happened to her. And now that I'm settled in my life, I spent it on some groceries the other day. And it was a really good feeling because I've never, I feel like Ariana Grande right now. I'm at the peak of my professional life, personal life, a lot of things I'm still dealing with, but I've never been so settled in my entire life, financially, housewise. I just get to create music and do things and talk to people. So here's what I really think about living in France. Is yeah, living here does, you know, you, you'll never see Paris as a, as a tourist place again once you live here. But it becomes something even better once you do. It becomes a word that I've dreamed of being able to say and actually understand the feeling. But now when I see French flags in the distance or I see the Eiffel Tower, I walk down my street and I smell Italian food. I'm home. Like Paris is home now. And there's something really special to be said for that, that I can walk around see Notre Dame and the Panthéon in the distance and meet girls and hit them up the Centre Temps Pompidou or pretend that my French is better than it actually is and have chocolate tarts for dessert and all this kind of crap. 
I like France and I'm not going anywhere and uh, we're still just getting started.